assalamu alaikum hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome if you're not new thank you so much for coming back so guys on today's video it's just i want you to spend the day with us by us i mean me and my baby so yeah it's just a random day in our life and i hope you enjoy this video so guys over here i was making breakfast and uh, for today i'm just going to be making pancakes because i just want to make something that is quick because uh hubby needs to leave for work early and uh, yeah so i'm just going to be making pancakes and tea and my coffee so yeah let's do that so guys over here i'm just starting to cook my pancakes i put in a little bit of oil and then i spread the oil using my silicone brush as you can see as you can see my mixture is really light uh, my husband likes his pancakes yani he has a particular way that he likes them he likes them really really light like thin thin pancakes but extra thin he doesn't like the fluffy pancakes he doesn't even like it fluffy even a bit he likes it extra thin he also likes his pancakes yani extra sweet so we have to put up enough sugar and he likes his pancakes dark like chomeke vizuri he has a very particular way in which he will eat pancakes if it's not like that then he'll tell you he doesn't like pancakes but if you make it in such a manner he really enjoys them that's why i i make the butter really light i don't add any baking powder because if you want fluffy pancakes i assume you add baking powder yeah i love fluffy pancakes any i love pancakes in any way if they're fluffy if they're thin i just love pancakes so i don't add any ingredient that will make it fluffy and also when making the butter I the milk is a little bit more so that it can become light as you can see in my video then over there I was just making tea he's the only one who drinks tea here uh, I drink coffee in the morning and uh, as you can see this pancake is dark yani mechomeka vizuri so yeah that's how he likes it so 
so over here guys i'm making my coffee and today i'm making it with the machine because my instant coffee like the powder is finished so sometimes i do it with the machine and uh, if you have been here for a while you will notice that this machine was on the other side where my cooker is but since i want to make a coffee station and i'm starting to work on it i decided to move it on the other corner of the kitchen because that's where the coffee station will be and uh, yeah i'll take you guys through the process of making the coffee station but not today in another video so over here i'm just making my coffee it usually takes a very few minutes i've never counted but it doesn't take a while i can't wait to be done with the coffee station guys because there's a lot of coffee videos that i want to share with you guys any hot cold any you name it and uh, you guys will enjoy when it comes to that especially if you love coffee this is what i was talking about about when i said how my husband likes his pancakes as you can see they're very light and they have a really like dark color that's how he likes it and uh yeah so my coffee over here is ready this machine you can you can let it time itself or you can just time it yani it's a really nice machine so over there my coffee is ready and uh yeah that is so satisfying <laughs> so guys over here after we've had our breakfast my hubby has already left and i'm making porridge for swalha and i use a uh, semolina flour suji to make her porridge i was advised on using this by my mother-in-law and i can see it's really nice healthy and swalha loves it so i don't see a need to change to the other porridges or whatever so that's what i do i put a few spoons inside like a cup with water and mix i guess we do that to avoid lumps not sure but yeah so i just do that and there in my pot there is a a little bit of water and uh, so i just put the porridge the flour like in uh, yeah the consistency consistency that i'm going to see i don't like it too heavy and also not too light anyway just somewhere there enough yani you know for a baby because she just turned six months alhamdulillah so after i do that and it's now smooth i now i'm going to pour it inside my boiling water as you can see then guys i just mix 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 yani like that i keep stirring until yani it's going to thicken by itself in a while i really love by the way guys a review on these silicone spoons yani i am in love with them i find myself yani i can't cook with anything else now that i know how good this feel when you cook with and this one especially for porridge and soups then guys as you can see my porridge is boiling when it starts boiling i put i add in a little bit of milk just a little bit i don't like putting in a lot just a little bit like that and i also added like a pinch just kidogo sugar for taste and then i'm just going to continue doing that until it thickens the way i want it to so guys at this point it's like around 8 30 but i'm going to put it in the thermos until like 10 to 10 30 that's when she has her porridge and that's the first meal of the day for here guys it's already noon and i'm making food for salha it was around 1 30 and inside here there is rice a little bit of rice and some grated carrots i i want to make rice and carrots puree for her so i realized she likes it when i add in carrots in her meals for example when i do potato and carrots puree she she really likes it when i do just potatoes she doesn't like it rice like that she doesn't so i have when i add in a little bit of carrots she really enjoys the food so i'm just going to let this boil until it looks like this as you can see you want it with a little bit of water left 
just as you can see on my video and i'm going to switch off my gas let this cool then put it inside my blender and blend it and blend it you're going to see on the next post like this this is how it turned out as you can see it has a really nice color because of the carrots and i guess it also adds in a bit of taste because she likes it so then guys i just i'm going to cover this i'm going to go and pray and after that i'll come and feed her over here guys i had some avoc avocados in my fridge and they were going bad so i had to make juice i like avoc avocado when it's like in a smoothie form as a fruit i don't like it so over here guys i was showing you this regulator we need to have such over here because of the power like voltage or whatever yani goes yani the power over here is unpredictable sometimes yani it can just burn your stuff so that uh, regulator is for my microwave i have one for my fridge and uh, a tv guard on the tv so these ones are just like the tv guard but they have to have more watts or yeah i think something of the sort because the amount of power microwaves and fridge take is a lot so you need to have this over here where i stay so guys now it was almost two and i was feeding Sarah over here okay i can say so far she's an okay feeder not so good and also she's not she doesn't give me a hard time so she just chooses what she eats if she likes it she'll eat it well if she doesn't she just won't eat it so over here i was just feeding her she really enjoyed this and uh yeah okay she doesn't finish that bowl of course it's too big <laughs> and it's a lot of food for a small tummy but she ate yani, a good amount and i was happy so after this we we stay like uh half an hour then she drinks her water and goes to sleep for learning her afternoon nap she doesn't sleep for long during the days the, the day as i had mentioned in another video but yeah she would sleep like 30 40 minutes and wake up but it's okay because yeah it's okay it works for us so yeah So guys here it was about almost three i was having my lunch then that's some leftover rice and uh, minced meat i didn't need to cook lunch because we had food from yesterday then i eat as i catch up with my favorite youtubers this one's in specific today is uh, learn with Flo. you can check out her channel for amazing hacks and also amazing just videos she's uh, a good youtuber and you can also subscribe to her channel the name is learn with flow i'm sure you'll enjoy this channel and you'll learn a thing or two so yeah i just catch up with my favorite youtubers or sometimes i'd watch a movie any anything but you know just relax and eat so guys over here it was around 5 30 in the evening and now salha drinks her milk uh, i give her none so we sub is it substitute none and uh, breast milk so she's been breastfeeding from time to time but not so much because she eats but she really likes her none so i give uh, her none twice a day one in uh, one during the day kama ivi and the other one she will have like a bottle when she's going to sleep uh the time she's going to sleep so yeah so during the day i don't give her a lot because now 
six months she drinks around 210 meals but during the day i give her like 160 or 180 and it's okay for her because she has been feeding and uh yeah so i was cutting her here and she she really knows her bottle now like even if he doesn't have the this top part she knows it and she starts like being excited about it so we're still on the nun number one after she's completed her six months we're going to go to the number two because uh, i i would like her to continue with nun until she's about one year then we can switch to normal milk so so her loves her bottle compared to breast milk so yeah we give her that but don't come for me guys it's not like she doesn't breastfeed she does so i'm just going to add in the scoops needed and uh yeah we're going to give her this So guys, over here it was around 6.30 and Habi had came back. So he brought some, a few stuff that I had asked for that were not in the house. Those are grapes. I've been craving those for some reason and I don't know why and I just want to eat them. And uh, if you don't know, grapes and watermelons, those are my favorite fruits. Like I love, love, love anyway guys uh we've come to the end of the video there's nothing much after this so it's just a few stuff that i'm going to put uh, away uh, vinegar which we had also run out of some oranges though orange season i think is over because these oranges were not so sweet like before my nan okay sal has nan was also finished so we had to stock up on that tuna i don't like missing tuna in my house because i love love tuna there's a lot you can do with tuna and uh, some minced meat which i also don't like missing in my house and uh that's it guys so i'm just going to put this in the fridge and put the rest away and uh, have my grapes because i've been wanting those a lot so i'm just going to wash them and have them now and uh that's it guys i barely any yani we barely eat dinner in this house so if we have like fruits evil or maybe i cooked lunch like a or something really simple maybe chapati that's it with tea we don't eat it like dinner so yeah that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe like share and comment